Let's be honest, if you didn't go to Victoria Peak, you never really went to Hong Kong. So when you do go, make sure to take the scenic route and get the Sky Terrace and Peak Tram bundle for just $20. It's actually still pretty crowded, even though I came early today, so I'm glad I didn't hit it during peak hours. No pun intended. My first stop was at Luger Road, a popular path known for its beautiful views of the city skyline and Victoria Harbor. For even better views, I recommend coming at either sunset or sunrise. It's a pretty easy flat one and a half mile walk that's filled with bushes and trees, and honestly a great way to kick off your morning routine. Sky Terrace is actually the highest point in the entire city. If you're looking for that one shot of Hong Kong to use for your next screensaver, this is the place. At this height, you knew I couldn't pass up the opportunity to Act 5. If you're trying to catch some more artsy vibes, there's plenty of street art scattered throughout Hong Kong. This art lane was in Sai Ying Pung and was one of the more popular ones. With artwork that comes from both local and international artists, the colors just sort of melt together and they also jump at you, almost like you were in a Picasso painting. If you're an influencer, this is probably the place you want to go for your next Instagram backdrop. After a quick coffee stop, if you head a little more south, you can check out Hong Kong University. When I went there, there was some sort of graduation celebration going on for all sorts of ages, and I probably wasn't allowed to be there, but it's pretty easy to blend in when you have a camera and you're just taking photos too. With its post-Renaissance architecture, you kind of feel like you're walking through a Spanish or Arabian castle. And I was actually kind of lucky to capture this pretty cute game of tug of war they had going. It was pretty funny because it took about 15 minutes for all the kids to get coordinated. In the beginning, they just kept either pulling in the wrong direction, fighting with each other, or just running away. You know, just your typical chaotic kid energy. So every night around 8pm, there's like a 10 minute light show in Victoria Harbor, complete with music, lasers, LEDs, you name it. I'm gonna be honest here, it's cool the first time, but after a while, it gets a little repetitive. And apparently, they don't go as hard as they once did with the lights. But you can follow that up with the Aqualuna Cruise. For just around 30 bucks, you get a 45 minute tour around Victoria Harbor in one of those traditional Chinese junk boats. Me personally, I think it's more worth than watching the Symphony of Lights from the pier. It's a great way to take in the city night views, feel the breeze on your face, and kick back after a long day of walking. Oh, and sorry if I didn't mention it, but you actually get a free drink with all this. Following my morning latte, day 3 was going to be a museum day, and my plan of attack was to hit the Hong Kong Space and Science Museums. 
So you know I had to wrap that NASA shirt. The crazy thing is, the admission price to these museums is only 1 to 2 US dollars. And for those prices, you can easily spend a couple of hours exploring their fun exhibitions and demos. My motto is, no matter how old you are, there's always something new you can learn, and there's no shame in being curious. Finally, if you're as much a history buff as I am, make sure to check out the Hong Kong Museum of History right next door. Admission is free for all and you get to learn a lot more about the roots and humble beginnings of this city.